I'm Jordan Winter, and you're watching No Free Lunches. Today, we're here in Lawrence, Kansas, checking out the best breweries. Bottoms up. Oh my. I'm here at Lawrence Beer Company, just east of Mass and in the heart of the Warehouse Arts District. Known for their flagships like the Electric, as well as their collabs with other local businesses, LBC isn't your average neighborhood bar. Join us as we venture to the other side of the wall. I'm sitting down today with Matt Williams, and he is the co-founder and president of Lawrence Beer Company. Thanks for hanging out with us today, Matt. Yeah, of course. Glad to do it. As an East Sider myself, I have to say that Lawrence Beer Co. has become the neighborhood bar in Lawrence. That's all we ever wanted. Yeah, and <laughs> I feel like the slogan really encapsulates the atmosphere here. It's down the street, up your alley. The Warehouse Arts District seems like a prime location for that, and it hasn't always been this way, because, what, 10 years ago, it was a bunch of abandoned warehouses, and now it's a really lively place, and I feel like LBC has played a pivotal role in that kind of transformation. Yeah, um, it's funny, you know, I've been in this building kind of throughout the last decade or more, you know, I, I saw it when it was the Seco Art Studios, uh, when it was a, a t-shirt printing press, you know, I've kind of interacted with this building throughout its evolution mm -hmm. and you know specifically for us this neighborhood and this spot checks a lot of boxes you know it's got the space that we needed um, it's close enough to downtown that people can walk back and forth but it's you know we have the advantage of space and it's in the middle of this neighborhood um, but there's also some industry so we you know there's people that work here there's people that live here there's space for us to do um, you know the things that we want with street parties and patio space and all the cool things all while being in this historic 100 year old building surrounded by super creative um, artists and, and um, kind of an eccentric neighborhood that we love dearly. So it was really the perfect place and, and honestly the only place I ever looked. Like it was always going to be this building. What we have is a space where we can partner with the local businesses to raise money and, and bring awareness and do cool things. Um, you know, everything from uh, we did a, a sidewalk chalk art festival to raise money for the Art Center um, scholarships um, to working with Satter Gallery and Bon Bon and some people on our block to just use the power of multiple businesses to bring in the rest of the community to, to get as much awareness and raise as much money as possible. It sounds like you had the space and the vision of what you wanted the space to be. So how did you build the dream team to help make it happen? I was lucky enough to be introduced through, to Sam through a, a brewery in Chicago that he worked for that I became friends with that knew I was doing this and they called me when Sam was moving back to Kansas City area to be closer to home. Uh, so I reached out to him and, it, and you know our visions of what we wanted were uh, exactly the same and so it just kind of took off from there with Sam. For our food component, we wanted to stay with the craft mentality, you know, focus on ingredients, focus on local, mm -hmm. focus on kind of making things that people are familiar with, but putting our own spin on it. We were lucky enough to uh, hire Josh Kennedy, who was a local Lawrence chef for a lot of years, uh, and then moved to Austin to open a couple of restaurants, um, to help open a couple of restaurants there. Um, when we reached out to him, he moved back and has kind of been running the show from the day one. So. Um, I could, we couldn't be luckier to have the, those two people in place doing what, doing what they do best. Thanks for sitting and snacking with me, Matt. I think I'm going to go try to catch Sam over in the brewery. Yeah, sounds great. Uh, it's my pleasure. Uh, I'll just go ahead and take care of the rest of this for you. <laughs> I'm sitting here at Lawrence Beer Company with the head brewer, Sam McLean. Thanks for sitting down with us, Sam. Cheers. Thanks Cheers for having me. 
Um, so first, I'd love for you to give a little bit of an introduction of yourself and kind of your origin story of how you got into brewing. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I was in college, uh, I was under 21, and I was too broke to buy beer and couldn't purchase it legally. Uh, I was interested a little bit in making beer, so I just started building the equipment and started home brewing uh, in my apartment in the closet during college. And then I graduated in 2010 and terrible job market. Uh, I was with a degree in English and journalism, so really no options uh, but to go straight into manual labor. So uh, I ended up getting a job at a brewery, and, and so I got to start at the bottom and really do every job there uh, from cleaning kegs up to uh, running the brew house and brewing beer there. And then I got a job at a really big production facility, so I got to experience that world. It was a really valuable learning experience, but it wasn't my favorite work to do. It's really uh, repetitive, and you're just producing beer all the time, so I was considering getting out of the industry mm -hmm. uh, or looking for a dream scenario as a brewer. That's when I got connected with the guys here at LVC uh, before they opened. And it was really kind of a dream job for me as a brewer because the scale was small. It wasn't a production brewery. We weren't going to be uh, having a rigorous production schedule and I could just kind of make whatever I want whenever I wanted. Essentially, they were going to build a brewery for me and let me run it. That's amazing. Yeah, it's, a great, it's been a great, uh, great experience. So you said this is your dream job. What are some of the qualities that make it that? We can really just make whatever we want whenever we want to make it. So if we decide on a Thursday that we want to make a beer we've never made before, I can write the recipe, order the ingredients, they'll arrive early the next week, and we can have that beer brewed and in a tank uh, on a Wednesday and have it on tap uh, two weeks later. So we can bypass a marketing team. We don't have to plan out a sales schedule. We don't need to go to a designer to do label artwork and get uh, name approval. We can just decide to make a beer brew it and serve it. It really simplifies and streamlines the process and that's the benefit of having our customers come to us and literally consume our product on the other side of the wall from the brewery. Yeah, it's brewed in-house for house, right? Yeah, exactly. And I'm sure that freedom gives you a lot of availability to work with other partners in uh, the community. So can you talk a little bit about that? We've been able to collaborate with Repetition Coffee a number of times. Uh, their roastery is right around the corner from us, so we've made some beers with them. Uh, love working with them. We've made some beers with merchants. Um, we made a strawberry beer with them where we picked 600 pounds of strawberries from Woolitz Farm uh, south of town and made a strawberry pilsner with them and that was really awesome and we worked with uh, Bon Bon uh, making beers with produce from their garden mm -hmm. uh, and Burger Stand we made a pale ale for them so we just get to collaborate and work with businesses that we really that we're friends with so. Who are some of the creative geniuses behind all of the awesome beer names that you guys have? Well, no geniuses here at Lawrence Beer Company, <laughs> but we do come up with all of our own names. Um, the first year, it was so fun to name beers because we had this list of names we really wanted to use, but uh, the longer we are open, the harder names are to come up with. Uh, but because we don't have beer in packages, we can just put it on tap. It doesn't need to get a certificate of label approval. We can just name a beer whatever we want to name it. Mm -hmm. So it is kind of fun to come up with names and we just look for inspiration wherever we can find it. You, you can make a lot, there's a lot of mistakes to be made when you name beers because they can be really hard to pronounce, really hard to order, uh, they can be offensive, inadvertently offensive, so naming you got to be uh, probably more strategic than we are. Sounds like a lot to think about. We should think about it more. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Sam, thanks so much for giving us a sneak peek behind the curtain. It was really nice to chat with you today. Yeah, come back again soon. Cheers. Cheers again. <laughs>